My family international media outlets are asking this question. Where is Kate Moulton? Where is Kate Moulton? And this question is Prince William's worst nightmare. Allow me to read you some headlines written by international media outlets. For example, the New York Times published an article with a headline saying this. Rumors swirl. I'm in concern over the Princess of Wales. Rumors swirl amid concerns over the Princess of Wales. My family, the business insider, also, you know, my family had its own headline about Kate saying this. And I quote, Kate Milton hasn't been seen in public since last year. Now, social media users are suspicious. I'll go to People Magazine also had its own headline saying this, and I quote, why haven't we seen Kay Milton since her abdominal surgery? My family, I'll go to Harper's Bazaar. Everything we know about Princess Kate's month long absence from royal duties. I'll go to Cosmopolitan and I quote also the headline Where is Kay Moulton? Why the Princess of Wales is missing. Now, Kate, wherever you are, I don't want you to think that we care so much about you. I don't want you to think about that. What we want to know is what did William do to you that made you get hospitalized? That's what we want to know. What did William do to Kim Milton that made Kim Milton get hospitalized? What did Prince William do? Because we do know that whatever is going on with Kim Milton, whether she has been committed or wherever she is, whatever has happened to her, my family, I firmly believe William has something to do with Kate right now being missing. I firmly believe that Kate's fans have hate accounts targeting Megan. They don't care where Kate is. They aren't asking where Kate Milton is. They aren't because they don't care. They are focused on basically harassing a woman who lives in the U.S., Megan, who is peacefully living her life and minding her business. Kate's fans are focused on that. Instead of focusing on someone they claim to care about, Kay Milton. You know? But people right now are admitting, indeed, it's suspicious for Kate to be missing for so long. Not even a picture. The palace could just simply release even a picture, a photo of Kim Milton. You know? I mean, they can apply makeup on Kate and take a photograph with today's paper and say, you see, Kate is okay. And all this speculation will go away. But they haven't released even a single photograph of Kim Milton. When Kate was at the hospital, my family, no one managed to get a photograph of Kate leaving the hospital. Nobody. Nobody. You know? And Kate 
hasn't been seen. For months now, for months now, for months now, Kate hasn't been seen. You know? And whatever is going on, I to repeat, William has his fingerprints on my family. What is going on? On Kate's disappearance, William is involved. That guy, as all of us know, he can't control his temper. He can't control his temper. And we've been calling for Prince William to see a shrink, a therapist or something. Just see and speak to someone about his temper. Which UK Media and Harry spoke about. You know? Harry spoke about Prince William's temper in his memoir spare. As someone who clearly can't control his temper. The tabloids always describe Prince William as being in candidate with rage. So, so there's an issue with Prince William. And my family, the guy needs to speak with someone. But before that, we want to know what part has William played in the disappearance of Kim Moulton? Because we do know he's involved. He is involved. You know? He's the one who is clearly keeping Kate hidden. You know? Where is she? Where is she? You know? Not that we care so much. We just want to know what has William done? What has William done? I mean, Kate's own fans don't care about Kim Moulton. They aren't asking where she is. Because they don't care about her. You know? They're mostly invested on um, hounding a woman who simply lives in America. You know, Meghan Markle. Who lives in America in peace with her husband and kids. They're focused on her. Instead of focusing on Kim Milton. It appears that Kim Milton is gathering attention because of her disappearance. Yet, when she was normally seen out and about, Nobody seemed to care. My family. Nobody seemed to care. Nobody. Now people are asking, where is Kim Milton? Now international media outlets are asking, where is Kim Milton? And allow me to read you, you know, what Forbes magazine, what they said. You know? Now Forbes magazine also published their own headline asking, and saying this, and I quote, the K. Milton is missing conspiracy theory explained. <laughs> My family, as I've said, international media outlets are asking questions. And this is something that William will not want to hear. I mean, they have the power to control the UK media. They have the power to keep the UK media in check. But then, when it comes to international media outlets, that's a whole different game. Remember, when William came to New York for his art flow prize or whatever, remember what happened? William, before he even arrived in New York, before William even arrived in New York, already he was saying he isn't going to speak to US media outlets. Why? Because he can control them. And because he was afraid of them asking him about how he physically assaulted his brother Harry. Because he was afraid of being asked about his rift with Harry. And my family, you've all seen by now. I think you've all noticed that when in the UK, not a single carnival of so-called expert asks Prince William about his rift with Prince Harry. No one asks him that. Nobody. But Harry, who lived in the US, UK media, dispatch the carnival of so-called experts to ask him to ask him about Charles' cancer diagnosis, to ask him about his whiff with the royal family. But they never ever ask William, who is in the UK, what does that tell you? It tells you the firm have the power to control the UK W media, to keep them in check. And to ensure 
that they, Wikimedia, don't ask William or Kate questions about their rift with Harry Meghan. That's why when William is having interviews with Carnival of so-called experts, they don't even ask him about Harry. But do you think Harry can have an interview without being asked about William, about Kate, about Charles, about Camilla? He can't. He can't. Because Harry can't control the US media. He can't. But in the UK, the royal family, William, Charles, have the power to control the UK public media and keep them in check. You know? Let me go right ahead and read you what um, Danny T. Placido, you know, who writes columns for the Forbes magazine, said. About my family keeps to be missing. And I quote. Now, jokes, memes, and conspiracy theories regarding the whereabouts of Kim Milton have reached a fever pitch on social media. As Kate has not been seen in public since Christmas Day, and the internet has grown curious. Now, while speculation has been growing in gossipy corners of the internet for some time, the conspiracy theories and memes hit the mainstream media after news broke that Kate's husband, Prince William, would not be attending a memorial service for King Constantine of Greece due to a personal matter. Now, gossipy social media commentators connected the prince mysterious personal matter to Kate seemingly vanishing from public life. Now they're asking, people are asking, where is Kate Milton? In January, the palace, meaning Crystal Palace, announced that Kate had undergone abdominal surgery and was returning home after a stay in hospital. And the surgery was reportedly a success. But the palace noted that Kate would not be able to return to public duties until after Easter and wanted to keep her medical status private, my family, there is something that I want you to remember. You know? The palace said, and I want to make this very, very clear, the palace said that Kate is the one who wanted to keep her medical status private. Now, allow me to remind you of something which happened years ago. When Harry was leaving the Sunningham Summit, he was told that the palace had issued a statement and co-signed his name on that statement without his approval, saying that William did not bully Harry and Meghan out of the royal family. Harry, in the Harry and Meghan documentary, Harry told us, first of all, nobody had asked him to co-sign any statement, meaning that William, his Crystal Palace, which he heads, a family, meaning that Crystal Palace co-signed Harry's name onto a statement and said that William is not a bully without Harry's approval. My family, that is what you call committing fraud. And I keep saying that if William was in the air, by now he'd be in prison. He'd be in prison. He'd be in jail. If William wasn't the heir to the throne, he'd be in prison. Number one, for his physical assault of Harry. Number two, for the role he played in the loss of Harry and Meghan's unborn child. Number three, committing fraud. By co-signing 
had his name to a statement to say, William isn't a bully. William isn't the one who bullied Harry Meghan out of the royal family. And then Harry tells us, when he told Meghan about that statement of how the palace had caused in his name without Harry's approval to issue a statement saying that William isn't the one who bullied Harry and Meghan out of the royal family. Meghan cried. Meghan was in tears. Go and relook the Harry and Meghan documentary because Harry speaks of that moment of how the palace were willing to lie to protect his brother rather than tell the truth. You know? So my family, and now you're being told Kate is the one who wants to keep her medical status private. Don't believe it. Don't believe it. Don't believe it. Don't believe it. If Kesto Palace can co-sign Harry's name onto a statement without Harry's approval, imagine what they can do to K. Milton. Imagine what they are doing to K. Milton. And that's why I'm saying, you know, William has got something to do with Kate's mysterious disappearance. You know? He has got something to do with Kate's mysterious disappearance. And now, international media outlets are asking questions. Are asking questions. You know? William must be worried. William should be worried about what might come out about him. You know? My family, basically, also, my family, here is what also was written in my family, you know, by, you know, Ford Magazine, Danny Di Placido. That when it comes to the royal family, however, privacy only sparks frenzied speculation. And royalists quickly noted that even the UK tablets hadn't been able to snap a photo of Kate since a hospital stay. My family with a tweet or a comment from someone my family on X who my family I know as a Harry Meghan supporter who basically said that I just can't think of any rational reason why they wouldn't have released a photograph of Kim Milton by now outside. There is no reason why the royal family, you know, by now hasn't even released even a, a photograph of Kim Milton, even just one photograph of Kim Milton. And the only reason that we can think of is that something serious has happened and the firm is trying to cover it up. And rumors began to take off after Spanish TV host Concha Caleja claimed that Kim Milton had been put in a medically induced coma due to surgical complications, citing an anonymous source within the royal household. Maybe someone who cares about Kim Milton in the palace leaked this. Or maybe a family member leaked this, my family. Who knows? And the palace has aggressively pushed back against the claim, describing Kaleja's coma story as nonsense. However, that hasn't stopped the internet from taking an interest and running wild with conspiracy theories. You know, my family. And rumors have surrounded. My family, here is the interesting part that even made me want to read you this uh, piece by Ford Magazine. Can you please hear this? Rumors have surrounded Kate and William for some time. Online whispers of a troubled marriage, impending divorce, even speculation that Prince William has been having an affair. <laughs> oh, 
Forbes magazine went there. Forbes magazine went there. Forbes magazine went there. <laughs> My family, you know, the thing is, you have to ask yourself. Around the time that Dan Wooten was writing articles about, you know, K. Milton, Rose Hanbury, and Prince William, why did he stop writing those articles? He stopped the moment he was given exclusive updates about everything having to do with Harry Meghan. Then he stopped writing about Kate, Milton, you know, Rose Hanbury, and Prince William's story, my family, about the alleged affair. You know? Even some people have been saying that Dan Wooten is being protected by Prince William because Dan Wooten knows some serious dirt about Prince William. You know? My family. And William is the one who is protecting him, keeping him safe because he knows some shady stuff about Prince William. The William, the palace, don't want to come to light. You know, in my family, I would never ever wish a trouble marriage on anyone. Never, never. I would never ever do that. But after what I've seen of the length that William went to to destroy Harry Miga's union, and even keeps on trying to destroy Harry Miga's union, my family, whatever's going on between him and Kim Morton, it's karma. It's karma for what they did to Megan and Harry. It's, it's karma for the suffering they put Harry Megan through. And the worst pain that Harry and Meghan have suffered is losing the unborn child. We don't forget, William assisted Daily Mail in Meghan's court case against Daily Mail that clearly showed that Daily Mail had done something illegal. By illegally publishing Meghan's letter, they were doing something illegal. That was public knowledge. You know? And Meghan lost a child because of the stress was put through by that court case that William assisted the Daily Mail. You know? And to make even matters worse, Prince William awarded the person who issued a statement against Megan in court with a top role honor as a reward for him trying to destroy Megan Markle and assisting a tabloid that has put Harry Megan through so much hell in court. William awarded that person his name, Jason North. So, so ever since I have seen what William has done, whatever is happening between him and Kimbleton is karma for the hell they put Harry and Meghan through. You know? Now, my family also hear this part. <laughs> Some have even suggested domestic violence, citing rumors of Prince William's short temper, along with the claim that Prince Harry made in spare that an altercation between him and his brother had turned physical, whereby Prince William physically assaulted his brother. But sadly, William is not in prison. If it was me, I'd be in jail. But William is roaming free, walking free, because he's the heir to the throne, because he's protected, you know, and I've been saying, this guy, he needs to see a shrink. A therapist to deal with his anger issues. To deal with his temper. I've been saying it. I've been saying it. You know? William has never been held accountable for anything in his life. And that's why he turned out so badly. You know? To think that a son who lost his mother. Because of Wikimedia. Because the actual Wikimedia media would uh, basically treat his own wife appallingly. Just like, just like how his mother was treated. It, it, it is so sad. It is really, really so sad. So sad. So sad. So sad. So sad. So sad. The thing is, Wikimedia media also, they wanted for Harry to treat Megan appallingly. Like how Charles treated Diana. Like how William clearly my family opinion has treated Kim Morton. That's what UK media want her to treat Megan as. Appallingly, basically. Like how Charles Jordana, like how William clearly has been treating Kim Morton. 
They want Harry to be more like Charles and William. Harry, please, continue being a good person. Please, continue being a good husband to Megan. Please, continue being a good father to Archie Lipetana. Don't be like Charles and don't be like Prince William. Harry, keep being just like how your late mother was. Someone with a very, very good and loving heart. You know? My family, basically also, it is that one commentator from Reddit broke down the rumors and noted how unusual it was that there had been no recent photos of Kate Milton writing, and I quote, this is the same woman who was doing a full photo op. You know, hair, makeup, holding a newborn within 24 hours of each of her kid's birth. You know? And the commentator went on to highlight, to highlight how King Charles has even recently been diagnosed with cancer but had not disappeared from public life. You know? And the same commentator also linked an article from a UK Tabloid The Mirror claiming that Kate was emotionally volatile but has since been edited with Kim Tso's name replaced by Prince Harry. The royal family is scapegoat. The royal family is, you know, scapegoat. As you all know, Harry is used as a distraction to cover for the other senior members of the royal family. You know? And that and it does not <laughs> clarified that Kim Milton being the focus of the story was made in the, was, was made in error. You know? And that they removed Kate's name and put in Harry's name. Harry. Even despite the fact that Harry has been living in the US for four years now, still he is used as a distraction. Still he is used to cover. For Kate Milton. Still he is used. My family as a convenient scapegoat. To cover for. Senior members of the family. Who clearly are into some shady shady stuff. My family. You know. The royal family likes to use. Harry Meghan as scapegoats. To cover for whatever is going on. You know. In the royal family that you can either found out. And they don't want the public to know. And it's high time that the farm stops using Harry and Meghan as scapegoats. It is high time they stop using Harry and Meghan as their scapegoats. They need to leave Harry and Meghan alone, my family. They need to leave Harry and Meghan, my family, alone. You know, they need to. So my family, basically, right now, there are so many theories out there of what could possibly have happened to Kim Milton. But I always say, those plasters on Kate's fingers are evidence that it's either she was hurting herself or William was hurting her. But whatever is happening, whatever happened, in any scenario, William is responsible right now for Kate's disappearance. It's because of him, in my opinion, you know, that Kim, that Kim Milton right now is uh, not well or is unwell. It has to do with Prince William. And uh, my family, someone has got to tell William and demand that he stops causing people pain. He must stop causing other people pain. He must stop doing it. You know? And basically, these moments in pop culture have drawn attention to the strange, secretive nature of the royal family, an archaic institution that seems to resemble Game of Thrones behind the scenes. And the contrast between the polished exterior of the royal family and the dark secrets that are fermented under the surface have surely ignited the imaginations of commentators 
And the reason for Kate's prolonged absence might be melodramatic or mundane. But no one, no one, no one trusts the palace to tell the truth. <laughs> finally, 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 I had it. Finally, I wanted to hear that. No one trusts the palace to tell the truth. And no one should ever trust the palace to tell the truth. Nobody, nobody should ever trust the palace to tell the truth. Nobody. Trust Harry Meghan. Not the palace, no William, no Charles, no Camilla, no K. Moulton. Trust Harry Meghan, but don't trust the palace. Palace ABs, palace staff members who protect them. Don't trust them. Don't trust, especially the UKW media. Don't trust them. No one trusts them to tell the truth. And no one should trust the UK media to tell the truth. Nobody. My family. I think I've said enough. You tell me your thoughts about what we have just discussed. I want to hear your opinion. Kate, whatever you are, if only you had Megan as an ally, as a friend. Now I'll keep on saying this. Maybe you'll still be okay. Maybe you'll be okay. But just to treat Megan appallingly. Now look what's happening to you. Now look. Now look what's happening to you at the hands of your husband. Kate and William boarded over trying to destroy Harry Megan's union, their marriage, their relationship, because they were jealous of Harry Megan's star power. Because they were jealous of Harry Megan's star power. And now that Harry Megan have fled the UK, they have nothing to bond over. Nothing. And now look at how their life is crumbling. Now look at how their marriage itself is, is, is crumbling, is in shambles. Where no one even knows where his wife, William's wife is. Nobody. You know? Nobody. And no one should trust the palace. No one should trust what the palace is saying. Nobody. Nobody, my family. My family. Nobody. The palace isn't known to tell the truth. UK tablets also are known to tell the truth. And it's high time they stop using Harry Meghan as distractions, as scapegoats. To protect the senior members of the family in the UK. They need to leave Harry and Meghan alone. You tell me. Your thoughts about what we have just discussed. Aren't here, opinion family? God bless Harry, Meghan, Archie. And also Lily, Bedana and Doria Raglan. And all of you members of the squad at home. Hate never wins. Love wins. And stay tuned to our next video. Love you also forever. And may God bless you all my family. May God bless you all my family. Of course. Wish good health of Game Moulton. Wish her well. And if she's recovering, I hope she's doing well and better. But something must be done about William. Who can't control his temper. He needs to speak to a therapist. Or a shrink. And for once, UK Media, the firm, stop protecting Prince William. It's high time he is held accountable for his own actions. If he's the one who's behind case disappearance, he must be held accountable for his actions. He must, for once in his life, be held accountable for his actions. He must. He must. Otherwise, his character, who he is, will become worse. He will become worse than he already is. So my family, you keep it and the farm must stop coddling and protecting Prince William. And for once, let the guy answer for his actions. Let him answer for his actions. For once. For once. Stop protecting him. Stop it. He needs to be held accountable for his actions. He needs to be held accountable for his actions. He needs to. You know? And also, someone better recommend a shrink for him. A therapist for him. Someone better do that. Now tell me, my family, your thoughts about what we have just discussed. God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, Lipidana, and all of you must squad at home, and Doria. Stay tuned to our next video. Love all of us, and God bless my family. Love wins. Hate never wins. Love wins. And stay tuned to our next video. Hello, members of the Squad Family TV. 
First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices. Supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much family from the bottom of my heart and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like and subscribe. Love you family, always and forever. Sayonara.